We get the chance to help out the Special Olympics and we can't think of a better way to spend our time. I mean, these kids go out there and they give it their all all the time and we're there to give them the support they need for training and for travel, but in the end it's about them. They do everything. It's it's just an honor for us to be able to go and do that for them. But each Plunger goes for as many sponsors as they can get. Uh, some of us have raised up to $700, others have raised $1,500, some have only raised $75. Every little bit helps towards Special Olympics and that's what we're here for. When you get out, it's kind of hard, like that first initial jump into the water, it's you'll catch your breath, you almost can't breathe anymore. <laughs> but then you get up to the ladder and you're like, hey, I'm out, let's go. And you run to the warming area and five, ten minutes later, you're good to go. As soon as you hit it, it's just that real shock. Like if you ever did like a snow angel coming out of a hot tub or anything like that, multiply that by 50 or 60. It's just, it's breathtaking. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, sure, the jumping into the cold water is not the most uh, enjoyable part of it, but you get a lot of camaraderie from everyone who's here. It doesn't matter if you're law enforcement, you're fire, you're civilian, you're whatever. We love having everyone out to these events, and we will welcome everybody and anybody who wants to volunteer and support the Special Olympics. It's me to support the community, um, do my part, and uh, raise some money, and, and to support a good cause, so that's why I came out. It was initial shock, so it, you, it's hard to breathe. Once you go in, it's, it's it's, it takes your breath away, um, your body's instant reactions to get out of there. So that's that's what I did. So I got out of there as quick as I could. But but it was good. It was uh, it was it was fun. Uh, good support out there and a good turnout. So we see the the polar plunge as one of the. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great fundraiser and a, it's, it's great for awareness, but it also has some of the, I think, largest potential for growth. So we see this as a real opportunity to help us raise funds that are going to build for the future. So it's, uh, and it's also a lot of fun. So it's, a, it's, it's one of those kind of things that piques the general public's interest. And when they come out and they're like, oh, hey, and then they learn about Special Olympics, they learn about law enforcement and torture. And so uh, this is probably one of our most important events of the year. The funds uh, will have a portion that are going to stay directly in Red Deer and help our local communities here, and then we'll also have a portion that will be used to, per, to support provincial programs that will support all of our programs around the uh, province. And they, they go directly to support individuals with intellectual disabilities and providing them with support programs uh, that are going to really uh, benefit and grow uh, in society and really providing that opportunity. It's more the lead up to it and the anticipation that sort of you get that dread, but it's uh, it's just a fun environment when people are here. Uh, they get really into it, uh, and it, it's a it's a joyous environment, especially after you sort of have that bond with everybody that's uh, that's uh, that's plunged, and there's something truly Canadian about it too that you can't uh, can't deny.